the Christian Zionist Manifesto. Final solution to the African race dilemma. This is a revolutionary book written by inspiration from the Bible, by inspiration taken from passages of the scriptures, particularly Psalm 68, Isaiah 18, and Isaiah chapter 19. This is a book that tries to unravel the mystery, the conundrum behind the African race under development and backwardness compared to the European race and the Asian race. Why are the European race and the Asian race more developed than the African race? What are the political, economic, social, and spiritual problems underlying it? Underlying this strange phenomenon that has persisted for centuries. The Christian Zionist Manifesto. Final solution to the African race dilemma attempts to answer these questions, to prefer solutions to these questions. This book shall be done in a series of videos. This is the first one. According to this, this picture, the African race progress is still like a wheelbarrow compared to the Asian race progress that looks like, it's like, like the speed of a car and compared to the European race progress that looks like the speed of an aeroplane. What, is the, what are the reasons behind this uh, contraposition? What are the reasons behind this uh, developmental situation and comparison? In comparison, the African, the Christian Zionist Manifesto, Final Solution to the African Race Dilemma is a book that attempts to unravel this mystery. This is a Victoria uh, scene or con construct construction about the re relative strength of the Japhetic European race compared to the Shemitic Asian race and compared to the Hamitic African race. The African race looks small, very looks small in comparison to the Asian race and looks like a midget or a dwarf in comparison to the European race. What is the cause of this? Beginning from Genesis 9 and 10, we would like to explain it using scriptural evidences. And we we'll try to provide solutions majorly by scriptural evidences. May God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. The Caucasian race, the Japhetic race, characterized with the pointed nose, with the thin lips. Some of them give themselves the eagle in the national symbol. Like the eagle is the symbol of the United States of America and many European countries. The Asian race. Characterized by the slanting eyelids. Such as the Mongols, the Chinese, the Japanese, the Koreans, the Vietnamese. And also those the Asians who do not have slanting eyelids, like the Indians, like the Arabs, and the African race. 
characterized by the thick lips, the white nose, the dark skin. Why are they economically backward? Even some racist anthropologists and philosophers and scientists have tried to say that the African race intelligence quotient is lower in comparison to the other races. Is this true? The Christian Zionist Manifesto, final solution to the African race dilemma, attempts to solve all these problems and mysteries and conundrums. The African continent is dominated more by Islam, followed by Catholicism and Christianity, followed by protest, Protestant Christianity. The black, the so-called black race, is so marginalized in Africa that it has, it has seen that the Arabs have taken over the northern North Africa and the whites have taken over the southern Africa. The black race is is sandwiched in between the whites of South Africa and the Arabs of North Africa. What can the black African race do? May God help us as we continue this series. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.